Uh, I think initially, um, as all of us were, I was a bit skeptical, even though I had been a successful laser patient. Um, wasn't necessarily thinking it was the, the next greatest thing to come along. Um, since that time, however, uh, I've been absolutely uh, mesmerized by the number of conditions that we've used it on and, and the efficacy. Um, I've, I've gotten to a point where, and I discussed this with, um, with the other doctors here not long ago, that if we see a patient that we have felt was a good laser candidate for whatever the condition was, uh, be it arth osteoarthritis, uh, be it uh, degenerative disc disease, which is a usage that uh, I almost forgot to mention, that's, that's a huge usage for it, or back issues and degenerative disc disease as well as spondylosis. But if we've gotten a patient to three or four treatments and we're not seeing any response or the client doesn't think they've witnessed any change, we really go back and take a second look at two things. Um, first of all, we'll take a look and, and verify that our, our protocol is the appropriate protocol. But even more importantly, if we haven't seen some sort of improvement by about the third or fourth treatment, we really start to question our diagnosis and look further to see if there's something we have missed. Um, so as far as efficacy is concerned, when I asked the other veterinarian here who's um, younger than I am, which means he might have been a little bit more resistant at first having um, finished his training more recent, we're seeing considerably greater than 90% in conditions when we expect it to work. And what I mean by that, um, some of these really out there conditions that one might try it on, like degenerative myelopathy, uh, when we have no expectation, I can't really count those into the mix. But as the typical things, uh, as I mentioned previously, at 90% or greater efficacy.